What's going on, Retro Nation? There's Retro up in the building. Let's try to do a little part two of the, um, you know, adding the games, Coin Ops 1 into Coin Ops 2. All right, let's go on the collections now. We're going to do like, uh, let's do like Super Nintendo and Genesis real quick, just to show you like the basis of it. All right, cool. Collections, you got, you know, go into collections, find Genesis, um, what is this one? Super Nintendo, find Super Nintendo official right there all right this is what you don't do you don't don't copy these settings over because the settings are different coin ops 2 has its own settings you know probably lead to retro arch or something like that or whatever so do not copy these settings just copy your artwork and stuff and your roms and your playlist or whatever just copy these four things only just like that i'm gonna let the time well it's going pretty fast so but yeah i'm still gonna cut the video all right, we're back. Uh, we're finished now, so let me see. Uh, you know, we could continue with those. All right, so that's how you would get like your, you know, like your Super Nintendo in there real quick. All right, let's go see if it works. I mean, uh, there's only 126 games in that one, so that's how much games actually should be in there. All right, with my controller, I'm always messing up on that level of it. All right, controller here, controller ready. Oh, it might take a little bit because I'm actually downloading mad stuff right now. All right, didn't take that long. All right, cool. All right, so we're going to find Super Nintendo, which is right there. So the game should be in there. Oh, yeah. Well, 113. I thought it was 127. And let's see if the game works. Because it should probably play out a retro archer or main. One of them. Um, I'm betting on retro arch. Yep, a retro. Alright, cool. So that's how you add, like, you know, like your stuff in there. Let me start and select this. Get out of here. Get off this. All right. So like that's how. But remember, do not put the settings config in there. And like I said, use their official stuff. Their official stuff works really good. All right. So like, let's do Genesis. Uh, let's find their official Genesis. Like uh, Genesis official. Right here. All right. So let me see. I see there's nothing in Genesis. Let me see, is there, is there any ROMs in there? No ROMs. Alright. This is what you do. You know, you just. Well, this is what I do. This is what, you know. This is how I did it. So, copy the artwork and just drag over just like that. Let it load up. I'm going to cut the video. I'll be back. Just about done. Alright, so. Uh, let's see what those are regular all right cool all right so let's go in and see if it works all right let's go find genesis might as well go back this way all right there we go Genesis is popping. Let's play something. See if it's playing, you know, the game's got to play. Alright, there we go. Out of Retro Arch. Alright, let me get off that. Alright, so that's how you kind of like add the systems in. Like, you could do that for like most of the stuff. Like, uh, like if you want to do your, um, you know your ps2 or ps1 or whatever it's the same way you do it the same way just don't do not um you know copy the settings because the settings is this these settings are made for next one and you know the next two has its own settings so all right so that's what you got to do and all right so i'll be back i'm gonna make a part three to this because there's still a couple other stuff that i gotta show you if you got your exclusive um you know if you got some exclusive bills or whatever you know, i gotta show you how to you know really do that one 
But alright, Dez Retro, I'm out. I'll be back. One.